Hello, guys. Welcome back to the D&D podcast. I'm here uh, joined with Ava, oui, oui. our ramen, ramen. and um, Mr. G. Hello. This is our last, last episode of Yay. this one, of this D&D. Because Mr. G is forcing us to. Yeah, M- Mr. Mr. G yeah, Mr. G is forcing us to end oh, this year. So, just for clarity, if anything clarity. sounds off, wow. like, for example... If I forget something, like, yeah, you don't have ice magical abilities like Elsa, just ignore that. Cause oh, this is go. Like, this is like a month apart from each other. So a our last apart. episode is like a month apart. So, yeah, just like, yeah, so ignore we any forgot. mistakes. Well, it wasn't really a month. I just had track to go to, and then you had, like, yeah, but other stuff. Anyway, so where we last left off, you guys, like, angered the god of time, and she was, like, also disguised as a toddler. And you guys are also at like half a heart each. Oh yeah, we were. Yeah, and then I like now you're fighting this god. So, uh, who we wants still to needed go to find first? The dragon. You make sure you pull up the dice. Thanks uh, for me. We need to find the dragon. The dragon. Oh, Unless yeah, I we for- get eliminated I here. I forgot about the dragon part. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you forget about the dragon? That's where we first started off. No clue. What? Horror, 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 Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yay! Which do you go first? Ah. Spin. Okay, so what do you want to do? What are my options? Yeah, uh, Uh. you're fighting a god right now. You're at half a heart. You got spell book. I can tell you what spells you have if you want. Oh, what spells do I have? You got vine, which sends out a very large vine and could reach high places. Or you got, uh, fire, which could, uh, spring, like, teleport like a little fireball. Into your hand. A mini fireball, just to and clarify. And you have um, ice, which could freeze an opponent for only like a little bit, depending on how strong they are. And then he had the magical one. Yeah, you uh, you can run ten times faster. Yeah, uh, okay. no, not, not 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 the ten times faster. Remember, he got the magical sword and he got the oh, new power. Oh yeah, you got the magical wand, and it, it was takes a, you. Yeah, no, it was a wand. It was a wand. Okay. You, it takes you over whenever you make something like a dumb decision. And his roller. arm, his his arm is like covered in like oh, black yeah. goo. Yeah, I, I, I remember roll, that. Whenever you roll low, it takes over. It has a chance to attack Ramen. Uh-oh. Don't attack ramen. Ramen is, is a delightful food. God's weakness. Do you have any vulnerabilities? She like has one vulnerability. What's her vulnerability? You're going to have to find that out. Uh. Right, uh, so roll to see what it is. <laughs> Chase, right. both of We're us are rolling. being very loud. We're rolling. No, don't do that. Five. You are going to deaf the people. Uh, Five. Oh, God. Mr. G. Since this is your first roll, don't worry, the wand's not going to take you over. Oh, and also, good. it's not an attack roll, so you're fine. Uh, you don't know. She's kind of just standing there floating with uh, her magical abilities. Oh. And it's kind of like, I'm going to kill you all. So. Eliminate, Eliminate you all. So, Ava, or ramen. Oh my gosh. Or soup. What do you want to do? <laughs> Where'd you get soup from? Soup. So it's uh, I would like to uh, use my ice spell, I guess. Uh, you, by the way, you also have sleep spell. I, I'm aware of that. Roll. We're rolling. Uh, We're rolling. Why? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, ramen. Uh, you you pull out your like little ice spell, and you mm. only manage to make an ice cube and throw it at her. And she kind of stands there and looks at you. Take this for your lemonade. Um, it is now her turn to attack. I'm going to roll to see how much damage Take she does. Take your lemonade. Six. Six. Ha. Take she that. She launches a dream uh, orb at you, which causes the mm. user to relive one of their worst memories. Oh, no. Again. Oh, so, no. so you're stuck you in dodge. the maze again. No, mm. so you both kind of just dodge it. Oh. Because she, like, throws it. Like, Wait. She has really bad aim. 
Mr. Mr. Like, G would be fucker. stuck in the in the maze again, Maze-ian. and I would. I, what was my uh, okay. backstory? You you know. burnt down your own house. Oh yeah, and then I would have burned down my own house. I'm yeah. an or, I'm an orphan, guys. Yeah. Orphan. Okay, so uh, roll to see uh, what you want to do. What do you want to do first, Mr. G? <laughs> um, I want to get attacked. <laughs> oh, I only rolled a four. Ah. Uh, so Mr. G, roll again. Roll yeah, again. you you gotta roll again, Mr. Roll G. Again, that, that, again. that don't count. Six. It didn't matter better. anyway. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So a ramen. Oh, what do you want to do, my uh, child? No, child. In this one, I'm like almost twenty. Um, I think. No, I'm uh, a fairy. Uh, just turn it. Down. I'm a fairy. I'm like a hundred. Cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to uh call a truce. Well, let's see. And we're rolling. Take we're a truce. Rolling. Take the truce. Oh my! Why? We haven't gotten over ten Eight. yet. It's a fairy ice. Is that camera stamp? She, uh... Is that camera stamp? Uh, so basically, <laughs> she looks at you and says, Ha ha, you already tried to harm me, so I'm harming you back. When did I try to harm she you? She rolls to see... And six. <laughs> she kind of stands there awkwardly and goes, Well, who wants to go first? Like, attack me, come on. Attack me. Like, what are you doing? And she puts up, like, a shield around her. All I did was throw an ice cube, and I just went, take some for your lemonade. Okay. All right. I'm going to use some vines here. Vine attack. Okay. And we're rolling, we're rolling. 18. Jesus. Very nice. Yeah. You wrap the vine around her, and the chalice drops, and all of a sudden, every one of you guys uh, kind of get teleported to her backstory. Where mm. you could see she was arguing with the woman that you saw before knitting. She was arguing with her as, but this time instead of her being a toddler, she was an adult, an adult form, and She's she an was arguing over uh, the powers. And then you see that she takes her own mother's powers and explodes the mind with them. So. Yeah, and then, like, she kind of goes back and is now, like, sitting on the floor, and she looks very harmless. Like, she can't attack anyone. And she's kind of, like, just crying now. Like, crisscross applesauce crying. So, what do you want to do? Ramen, what do you want to do? Oh, uh... Uh... She's just crying right now. She's harmless. I I would like to comfort her. Roll to see. Roll. We're rolling. We're rolling. 13. 13. That's, that's better. On your way to come for her, you kind of trip and fall and then <laughs> do like a ninja roll and then you get to her. And so. um Style points. <laughs> you put your hand onto her and you see that your hand like kind of like melts a little. <laughs> and then like you obviously take your hand off and your hand like stops melting. And so she says, get away from me. Um, What's wrong with her, man? I I have lost half of myself. So if anyone touches me, we combine together. Meaning what you get all my powers and abilities, but you also kind of forget who you are yourself. So I'm going to make you allow both you of you to make a decision. Do you guys want to combine with her or no? I would. Yeah, I'll combine with her. No, oh, we're Only all one person. No, then no, I won't. I will. Uh, uh, fairy. We'll to see how you handle uh, it. I'm probably gonna get eliminated. I'm gonna get eliminated. No, nice. 16. Okay. I thought that uh, said 19. I was gonna you cry. You touch her again, and you get like kind of globbled together, and you kind of are now human. You're not a fairy anymore. Oh. But you have gained a new ability called Stop It, which can freeze time. Stop it! Including Mr. G. You can freeze, like, everything, and you can control how long you freeze it for. And it also, you got another one called uh, Time Bomb, which could, uh, for uh, however long you, like, make it, it, any area that it gets hit by will be affected by a time warp, like, kind of like the village. Can I... Uh, use this newfound power and take off the village's time loop? Yeah. Okay. I want to do that. So. I want to do that. You don't need to roll for this. All right. So the portal slowly comes down oh. over the whole village. And all of a sudden you see 
millions of years go by in a flash of an eye. Oh. And you see that everyone you saw before was gone and replaced with new people. Because they're eliminated by old age. You see that all that time, they've been stuck in that portal for over millions of years. And nowadays, they're just any like any other village. Nothing special. They're not stuck in the past. Um, the goblin guy, though, you see that oh. there's a little... You know the goblin guy from the shop? Yeah. You see that there, his hat... Like a little kid runs up to you with his hat and says... My great great grandfather wanted me to give this to you. Oh! When you when someone comes out of the mines, the mines sadly have been gone for like years now. So you guys look like you just came out of the mines. Here you go. And you see, and it, there's a note that has the time crystal in it, saying you'll take this, you'll need it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're now continuing your journey, and you finally. Get to the den. And I'm I am half a sorcerer now. <laughs> I'm no fairy. No fairy anymore. I'm no fairy. I can't fly. Uh, so you get to the dragon's den to see it's currently empty. And you see that there is like a very weary fairy, like w- weary, like feeling coming out of it. It's cold and damp when you step inside. You don't see anything though. But something like scurries across the room, and the lights turn on. It's the dragon. Oh. He's currently looking at you to and speaks slowly and calmly. I see that you have brought to no slayer by the woods. The fox and his apprentice guy, or the fox and his whatever. I forget how old oh, I am. And his apprentice guy. Uh. You see that you have not accepted the sword as a present. There's no way to defeat me. And then he smiles and locks you up to what seems to be in a tea kettle. (laughs) And he hangs you from the ceiling along with a bunch of other tea kettles filled with probably other people. Um, The dragon says, you guys will make a great herbal blend. And he kind of walks out of the den and starts flying again. So you guys are now stuck in the teapot. I know what to do. Do it. Do it. Can I? Can I? Can I go? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, newfound uh, ability and go back in time. And no, you can only freeze it. Oh, really? You can't go back. I in can't time. go back. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay then. Uh, scratch that idea. Um, Mr. G's kind of just sitting there like. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. G, how about you do? Yeah, y- you yeah. Go. it's your turn. It's your turn. All right, all right. Yeah. All right I'm going to use a fire spell and blast a hole in the tea kettle. Roll. Rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> you take a big fireball, and, you, so, and it bounces back and hits you like right in the face, and you're like, ow. And you, and you just kind of like sit down on the floor like, ow. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, uh, since you're trapped in this teapot, a big raindrop falls down into the teapot, slowly filling it. Uh, it's up to your feet right now, up to your grippers. Um, also, up to our grippers. <laughs> also, you also notice that you're at both at full health because the water has a healing ability to Ooh. it. The water is like has healing to it. Is that guys- is that that is that why when this guy got hit by his own fireball, he didn't die or yeah. get eliminated? Yeah. So, you guys are both at three hearts again. <laughs> uh, meaning that you're kind of invincible because you're, like, in the water. But you could also drown from the water. So, Aww. you got to be really quick about this. So, uh, eh, Rom, what you want to do? Uh, um, uh, mm. um, I would like to use... I would like to combine both me and Mr. G's uh, fire to both or of you vine guys. actually vine um and work together to break over the teapot uh well both of you guys have to roll to see how well we could compare uh, <laughs> okay. 19 okay mr g come on mr g both of you guys have to roll 19 roll high oh you shouldn't have said anything i rolled high though ava ramen ava ramen okay <laughs> so you take your vines and you Burst the teapot open, and you crawl outside of the teapot. But you also notice the teapot 
shuts and Mr. G is now trapped inside. Oh, no. <laughs> and the water drop falls again and it's now up to your waist. Oh, no. Um, you're kind of now just hanging on the teapot for dear life because, like, you're 50 million feet up. Like, We're that to- small? Oh, wait, yeah, it's a dragon. Never mind. It's a dragon. Yeah, shh. So, what would you like to do? You can't fly anymore, so you should not combine. I know I can't fly. Well, it's okay, I guess. I mean, you could freeze time and then fall. Well, yeah, but like, actually, yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Oh, actually, wait, I thank you, Chase. Gave you that. Thank you, Chase. I'm gonna freeze we'll time. Have to see. I'm gonna freeze time. Hold on, I'm not done with my thing yet. I'm gonna freeze time and then time. use my vine spell to break on the, the tea kettle and grab Mr. G and take him safely down. Nice. Roll to see. And take both of us safely down. Roll to see, my grand traveler. 20! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Freeze the time, Woo. Kid, But you notice around you that the teapot is still closed because time is frozen and you can't interact with the frozen world. Meaning, like, you can't get Mr. Knee. Oh, but I got a 20. Yeah, but you did fall safely to the ground. And on account of that, you see that there was. Like 50 wands underneath you. And I'm going to let you choose out of two of them. Okay, okay, two. So I'll give you five options because I'm too tired. Okay. So you got cursed wand, same as Mr. G. Okay. You got the timekeeper wand, has the ability same as you. But like this time, it allows you to go back by only five seconds in time. Mm -hmm. Um, You got firebender. You got firebender uh, wand that can create... Very big, powerful fire spells. Uh, you got earth, which creates very powerful earth. You got ice that creates very powerful ice spell. And then you got a night night spell, which can put anyone in a 50-meter radius put to sleep instantly. Uh, I'll pick the... By the way, you don't have to roll for any of the uh, I know. abilities for the wand. I know. I'll, you, I'll get... This is a tough choice. Um, I'll do the earth wand. You could only choose one. You said two. I said. You said I could choose two. Right. You just said it. Never mind. Mr. Then. G witnessed it. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Choose I'll two. choose the earth wand and. Um, Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. The cursed one. Okay. As you take the earth wand, you feel a now newfound power. Oh. Your vine spell can now reach up to a mile. <laughs> and you can also insta grow any plants that you want, oh. such as like a tree instantly just appears out of nowhere. Um, I can, I the crush be- wand you grab, uh, roll to see what happens. Oh no, you said I didn't have to roll for any. I said no for the ability. 14. The wand, when you pick up the wand, it connects to you. But this time, instead of taking your whole arm like Mr. G, it just takes your hand. Yeah. Same thing for Mr. G. The wizard comes up to you, fights you, blah, blah, blah. And then you're now back to normal. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the wand is now cursed to you. And so is Mr. G. Meaning which, if you roll very low for an attack, you have a chance to attack Mr. G and turn violent. Oh, so, no. Same thing, Mr. G. Just imagine you both roll low, and now you're just attacking each other. <laughs> like All ones. right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use... Do I have an option to... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Right, this is Mr. G's turn. I'm sorry. Well, I, well, Rom and Ava was taking your sweet time. I was wa- not taking my sweet time. The time was frozen. And the water's not up to your neck. The water was frozen. I froze time. Water does not work with time. Mm-hmm. But water has memory. The healing water. Water has memory. Oh, the healing water. Healing water does <sighs> not have any memory. Water all has memory. Mm. Sorry, I turned British when Can I'm bad. Can I mad. climb through the spout of the teapot? <laughs> we'll just see. Up in the teapot, short and stout. Twelve. And here is my spout. It's currently blocked by cork. Cork. Uh, no, like a piece of cork. Yeah, I like know from a bottle. I know a cork. Not my hero academia. Uh, no, not that. I was I said cork. Not cork. <gasps> Mr. G, what do you want to do? I turn British when mm, I'm mad. I just push the cork out. For all to see. Cork. Cork. I'm a cork. 
Uh, it kind of like slip and fall bang your head. <laughs> and then you like get healed again. Um, while this is all happening, you hear a quiet voice from the stove. And it's someone else climbing out of a teapot. And it's the fox from oh. the woods. So Of course, you can't forget about Mr. Fox. Cause Mr. Fox. You didn't name. even ask the name of the fox when you left. Yeah, true. That was, that was mine. I, I didn't want to get attached. Okay. Because I well, didn't know if he was going to get he eliminated. He climbs later. out of the teapot and greets you and jumps down from the desk. Hello. And he basically hands you the sword that the dragon said needed. In order to eliminate it. Um, so he hands it to you. It says, with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. And he kind of now is like running out of the cave. <laughs> yeah, he kind of just running out of the cave. and His like, tiny legs just going. <laughs> ten legs? Tiny legs. Oh. Tiny. Like ten- okay, tiny, so not ten. You are now kind of standing there holding like a really big sword. And you're like, huh, okay. Um. Oh. Mr. G, you're kind of like to the point where you're about to drown. <laughs> like the water's just slowly, like you got like a little bit of it's a, a nose. It's at, it's at, it's at a little, like your nose now. Mm. You, you, that you're going like this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 all, right, all right, let's go, let's go on. So you now you hear a swoop of a wing. And it's like you hear the dragon come back down. And he's like, Kind of like, you know, just going back to the t- kettle and wondering where the meat has gone, obviously. Well, but he just like here and pours himself a nice cup of tea <laughs> and sits down. And he sees, and he kind of sits there and goes, Raman, I know that you're there. Oh, oh no. What do you want to do or say? Surprise! <laughs> You awkwardly step out of the shadow behind the desk, <laughs> and he kind of looks at you and says, here, come over here. Do you trust or do you not? Uh, that mm. is the question. I am very powerful now. True. Continue. So, I'll, like, I'll step, like, a foot. <laughs> okay, you step a foot. Still, they ki- coming out of the shadows. Mm. Um, drop that sword, will you? Will you? I'm not dropping the sword for crud. You crunch onto it tighter, and the dragon kind of stares at you. Would you like a spot of tea? No. Thank you. No, thank you. Dragon says, oh, I just made this pot just for you guys. Oh. I knew you guys were troublemakers. You said we were going to be put in it. <laughs> well, uh, well, listen. I knew that you were going to escape, especially because I've heard many tales of you before you even came to my den. Tales of me? Yes, of course. You helped, like, half the village get out of a time loop. Your story has been told for generations. Gen- gen- generations? Who knew about me? And Mr. G, of course. Of course. The of dragon course. smells and, and breathes a tiny flame and kind of takes the sword away from you. Oh, no! No, no, no! No! It, he uses it as a toothpick to stir his teeth. <laughs> and he kind of, like, uses it to pick his, like, teeth, too. Like, oh, ew. And he, like, st- puts it onto the wall, like, stabs it into the wall. It says, good luck trying to kill me now. Eliminate. Eliminate me now. Good luck trying to eliminate me And then now. he smiles and says, oh, by the way, your friend is probably drowning by now. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna, he, um, he snaps his finger, and a small fiery flame guy with a face grabs the pot down and dumps the water out to see Mr. G like barely alive, like <laughs> just like <laughs> but still at full purple, health, but still at full full health. M- Mr. G is purple, but at full health still. So the fiery Somebody. little guy dumps you out and starts kind of like playing with you like a doll. Oh. And so once the fire guy is like done, he like drops you. Like hard, and then just kind of <laughs> goes back to the dragon and it like evaporates out thin air. And now you're both kind of standing in front of this huge dragon that's burnt down millions and millions of villages. Wait a minute, I have and an he's idea. kind of sipping tea. I have an idea. Yes. I oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go no. go on. Okay. Um, uh, he tells you he taps um he stands up and taps on the stove, um beckoning you to come up. Hmm. Or slash the counter. Stove slash counter. Uh, oh, 
No, no. Uh, all right, all right. Guys, um, you both have to make two different decisions for this. One of you guys have to go up. One of you guys have to go down. Or you can both stay down. I am gasping for breath right now, trying to regain my color. Because <laughs> you're purple. You're turning into a smurf. Okay, so... Uh, like a purple smurf. Okay, I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly use my, like, one-mile vine to get the sword. Good idea. Uh, roll to see. Mr. G's phone is turning off. Uh, yeah, roll to go. see. And, and we're rolling. rolling. We're, we're rolling. rolling. 13. 13. Huh? The vine stretches, but you can't get a good grasp. It's, like, really into the wall. <laughs> And so the dragon uh, picks you up by the shirt and pops you down on the counter yeah. and gives you a lump of sugar to sit on. Can I eat the sugar instead? Um, he kind of I, takes I you go to Mr. G and like blows dry you off real quick and like sits you on top of the cube. <laughs> and he looks at you both and says, "Would you expecting some evil guy dragon?" Well, he's like, that's not me while well, reaching, like, starting to cook, like, a pancake or something. You did burn down... Oh, wait, no, that was the... That was the girl dragon. No, he was that the was one him. who burned all the villages. Down. Yeah, I was gonna say, you did burn the villages. Are you sure you're a nice person? Oh, we don't worry about that. Oh, we're gonna worry about that. Are you arguing with me? And he but, turns at you and, like, a little bit of fire comes no, out of his nose? No, no, I'm not. I, I will be quiet now. Okay, okay. And so he starts making, like, a tiny little dinner for both of you guys. And he, like, brings you, like, a little tiny bit of pancake, which is, to you, is, like, like 50 shares stacked on top of each other. <laughs> and so start eating nicely. But do you trust him or do you not trust him? I don't trust him. I'm just going to dive into the pancake. <laughs> Ava, you're scorping the pancake down. Just like, uh, uh, uh. I'm hungry, and okay? She's kind of awkwardly sitting there with the pancake, mm -hmm. eyeing it. Well, <laughs> ramen. Uh, ramen, yeah. It soon turns nightfall, and the dragon smiles and says, You guys can stay the night, but you better leave tomorrow morning. Don't worry, I'm not going to harm anyone or anything. And he makes like you a, like a tiny little bed, two like tiny little beds for both of you guys to sleep in. And uh, he smiles and kind of walks outside of the den, and yeah, that's what it is. So, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call him over. I want to ask him something. Bef he's like gone though, so. Ah. Well, but like, what were you gonna ask him? Why he burned down villages? Well, he's gone, so you can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, sheesh. Uh. Use my one mile vine again and grab the sword again. We'll see. And we're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. Uh, Hello. Ah! You reach it out, but yet yeah, it's still stuck really hard into the wall. Can I, can I just keep trying? It's Mr. G's turn. I, do I have vine spells? Yeah, you yes, do. Yes, you do. But it's not as powerful. I will ask the fox what the, the dragon The fox ran is. away. He's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is, do I have access to a spell book? Yes, you do. So I will look up how to fight a dragon in the spell book. Uh, the, the spell book only teaches you the spells that you know, but there is a little um, rid, hidden little note written by the fire fire guy. <laughs> Don't mm -hmm. trust his lies with a little smiley face and some <laughs> stars and highlights all over the place. And I, kn <laughs> I knew that guy was preppy. And so, um, basically, now what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to be scared because I scorfed down that pancake. <laughs> what are you going to do, Mr. G? I'm going to start panicking. I am going to give some of my magic power to Ava to help her reach the sword. Well, to see, you guys have to both roll very high, like over 10. Okay, 12. Over 10. Over 10? 16. 16. You combine together and you reach for the sword and you both pull it out and you gently put it under Mr. J's bed. So. How, how does it. F oh, yeah, it's tiny, too. So. Um, you both go to sleep and in the next morning, Raman, you don't mm -hmm. wake up. Oh no. The pancakes 
Oh no, <laughs> no, no, I and knew something bad was gonna happen. A sleeping spell, but oh, since no. Mr. G was cautious. I knew that was gonna he happen. He didn't eat the pancakes. Nope. Um, you wake have up to... to the dragon still not being in the gen, and it's quiet, too quiet. It's quiet because take, I'm not there. You take the sword and see that like Rama is kind of like passed out a little bit. <laughs> And you could choose to kind of leave him or drag him. Uh, I can't wake her up. Mm-mm. I'll drag her to safety. It's you not really safe anywhere. You drag the bed along with you, but you realize you got to kind of jump off the counter. So, oh. I mean, if you want to. I mean, take to. the chance and, like, slap me on the ground. I'm going <laughs> to grab a um, napkin and make a parachute. No. Oh. Well, to see how it works. Oh, no. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. Fifteen. 15. All right. You tie okay. it to the bed and gently float down on the bed. And like Princess Peach with her like with her dress. Um, you kind of accidentally shove Ramen off the bed, <laughs> which goes splat onto the ground. <laughs> and I'm still asleep. <laughs> she doesn't take any damage. Okay. How, how do I not take damage? This is a spell known as the... Good night spell, oh. which means that the user of the spell can decide the amount of time they want for the person to sleep, and also the How meanwhile the person will take for? zero damage. Am I sleeping anyhow. forever? And I'm, am I just in an eternal sleep now? Maybe. Oh no. Uh, the dragon nicely comes back and says, "I see that you try to escape," no, and he grabs both no. of you guys. Nope. No. Nope. And you are now both outside in the morning, with the dragon standing in front of the cave. And you've entered battle. You entered battle now with the dragon. Sword. So you both have three hearts. Um, gonna add I'm, I'm just sleeping, so I'm probably... I'm going to add a fourth heart to you, Ava, and Mr. G. To ramen. So, yes, yeah, ramen. ramen. So you both are um, at four hearts, full four, full health hearts. And Mr. G is the only one awake right now. Ava, you're just ramen. You're just kind of like a uh, Peter Griffin style. P- Peter Griffin style? <laughs> yeah, Peter Griffin style. So, what do you want to do? So, I'm going to take the sword in one hand and Ava in the other. <coughs> and since she's asleep and can't take damage, she's my shield. Oh, no! I'm charging in. I'm going after <laughs> no. the dragon. Shield and sword in no. hand. No. I want to see what happens. <laughs> what? Fifteen. Uh, no. You run double. at the dragon, and he kind of stands there and picks you up while you're carrying ramen and the sword. <laughs> and kind of just goes, you know, I could flick you right now, and you would go like all the way to Mars, correct? And I say, but you're a good guy, dragon, so you wouldn't do that. Well, you have betrayed me, so not anymore. And he drops you. Just say, just say that, like he drops just you. Just say you're going you. to like the kitchen or something. He drops you, and it catches you again, and then it puts you nicely on the ground, and then. Blows big heavy fireball at you, coming right at you. So, and I'm the shield. Jeez. Um, by the way, just a little tiny reminder: you both have you both have a teddy bear, which when hugged, you have a teddy bear, which when hugged, oh, can yeah, yeah, yeah. create a force field around you. I'm gonna hug my teddy bear. What oh. do you want to do, Robin? Oh, I'm wait, asleep. You're asleep. Roll to see what happens. I'm stuck to Mr. G because I'm a shield. <laughs> Okay, and we're rolling, we're rolling, 16. 16. The shield goes around you, and the fireball hits the shield, and you feel you getting slowly burned. And so you take a heart of damage. And Ava's kind of just sitting there like... <sighs> and so you're at two hearts, and the fireball stops, and you un- you lower the shield down. To me? No, <laughs> the other shield. Oh, and the dragon stands there and says, Hi, it looks like you came prepared. And We weren't prepared. Uh, he starts launching fireballs at you. Again. Oh, oh, no. Uh, roll to see who can dodge. I'm asleep, so I can't dodge. Rolling, rolling, 16. Do you I dodge. have to? Oh. You'll come, there'll come a time and place where you will run roll this. I'm still at four hearts, though. I so want to help. He, he, like, the dragon spouse just says, Clever, are you? And he takes a teapot and kind of now puts you back in it. Uh, roll to see if you can escape. I'm just stuck here. Rolling, rolling. 
two. Two. <laughs> Ava, ramen. Roll to see if you can ice skate. I'm asleep. Yeah, roll to see. He might have missed you, like a little water droplet. Oh! 19. 19. He scoops Mr. G up, but completely forgets about you. I thought Mr. G had me in his hand. Uh, Mr. G, you drop, you drop ramen. <laughs> So oh, yeah, because you're you back in the teapot, and this time you feel it slowly getting warmer. Uh oh. Oh, no. And warmer. It's turning into a hot tub. Mr. G, roll to see what happens. Mr. G, you're turning into a hot tub. <laughs> you're turning into a hot you, tub, Mr. G. All of a sudden, get controlled by your wand. Mm. Oh, oh no! You turn into a shadow demon, oh, kind of. Oh no! I am and done for. No, I can control you. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get the heck out of the pot, and uh, I'm rolling to see what happens. Roll, roll, roll. roll. Ten. Ten. Okay. Okay. You get out of the pot, and see the dragon is now standing there cooking, and then you, I jump down. Technically, I'm like you now, so I jump down and I kind of run and while i'm running i shoot a um vine to tangle like kind and of we're rolling one <laughs> the vine kind of splats down to the ground like i'm awkwardly running <laughs> i try i spell to see if i could like freeze his foot or something we're rolling we're rolling 17, 17. Nice. it freezes his up to his ankle and he's unable to move but yet he still does not notice that he has Left i've me. escaped and i've been left uh, I'm just. You realize the sword is kind of with ramen, and ramen oh. wants you to roll to see what happens. Please don't hurt me. Roll on, roll on. Six. Oh no. Um, you grab ramen as your shield again. Oh. You got the sword. Um, you lunge at the dragon, and the dragon sees you, whacks you on the wall, take a heart. You're at one heart, both each now. Wait, me too? No, not you. Just. Am I still at four hearts? Yeah, you're still at four hearts. What the heck? Am I still asleep? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of, you're, the dragon's really bad at you. It launches fireball. Let's see. Will I roll it? 13. 13. You both dodge it. And let's see. Run. I'm just still going to be, this is fun. <laughs> I get to control you. Um, Roll to see, Ramen, what happens. No. Not me? Yes. Okay. Well, run, run. 18. Nice. You all of a sudden snap back awake. <gasps> <gasps> and you you still have full, full health, <clears throat> and Hi. you are not able to take damage again. No. I, can, can I just be used I as the will, human shield again? And I'm going to attack Ramen. No! Roll no! Rolling, 18. No! I slice and dice you. Uh, you got two hearts. I'm rolling again to see if I can attack you. No! Slice Stop. and dice you. You Stop. have one heart. Stop! Stop, I Mr. G! <laughs> Mr. I G! I uncontrol you now, and Mr. G, you're not back in control. And I'm just down on the floor. You're both at one heart again. You did that! <laughs> I wrap up the dragon with my vines. Ow. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're rolling, we're rolling. We're never on the roll. Mm. The vines just Your slap. vines wrap around the other leg, and the other leg of the dragon, and the dragon launches fireball at you. Uh, I want you to roll to see what happens. And we're rolling. Roll to see what happens, Mr. G. We're roll, roll. Five. Ramen. Hmm? Roll to see what happens. Oh. We're rolling, rolling. 18. As also, the dragon yeah. launches its fireball, all of a sudden, Mr. G, you're teleported to a cold purple place. Purple! Purple! A cold purple face. And you see that the wizard is standing there who is controlling your wand. The one he who almost goes, eliminated me. He smiles and goes, that dragon is illusion. And what would you like to say back? That illusion hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. And that's why I had to take over. But you can't trust your friend. Oh no. Plot why not, twist. Why not? Ava. Plot twist. I'm getting you control over the dragon. Oh. Huh? As all of a sudden, Ava, oh your whole God. entire body gets consumed by the blackness, and now you're the dragon. Oh my goodness, I am tall now. And Mr. G, the wizard. 
kind of gives you back full HP and goes and gives you another heart, so you got five hearts. Good luck. Your friends might turn against you. I I do I have a choice? You got to attack him. I have to? You could make it less painful, more painful. <laughs> can I just like Mr. G could also kind of attack you too? I don't wanna why did you set this up? I didn't want to do this that. This is a test of friendship. How how do you do a test of friendship when I'm stuck as a dragon and I'm forced to eliminate Mr. J? By the way, your body's like kind of Peter Griffin style dead on the floor, so <laughs> my actual body. Yeah, and it's like consumed in blackness. So Mr. I'm just J like, <laughs> It is now your turn. Uh, you're kind of seeing that now Ramen has taken over the dragon. So I know that. Yes, you know that. Now why do Ramen's I have to fight her? I, I'm, just, I'm just looking around aimlessly, just like, why am I so Ramen far? is trying to Not on purpose. You. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. It's a world to see. Not on purpose. I'll take you over. The wand can take you over any second, by yeah, the way. I just know. saying. I don't know. Give me power over the Also, dragon. also, also, disclaimer. One. You got a one. Also, disclaimer, this one is extra long because it is the last, last episode. So. so, run, obviously. Mr. G, guess what I'm going to do to you? What's that? I'll take you over. Oh, I'm no! Gonna, I'm no! Gonna roll to see if I can... Mr. G! Attack Ramen. Mr. G! I'm going to launch a ice spell along with fire. Mr. G! 11. Combine them together. You get hit. Ava, you are, uh, have 10 hearts in total. You get... <laughs> you lose half your heart. I'm going to roll again to see if I can fight, Mr. fight you. Roll one, and then is now your turn. Mr. G! You may I now attack me? And uh, fire. 15. 15, you attack me. I lose... Two hearts. I'm out now. Three. I'm gonna roll to attack you with fireball. I roll. I get twelve. 12. Um, twelve. So you are now at seven hearts. Roll to see. How, how do you do tw two, twice? Five. Now it's your turn. Roll oh, to see. okay. Um, ice. And uh, ice. Roll, roll. Nine. Oh, you missed me. I go back. It's my turn now. I roll seventeen, 17. for fireball. Launch it at you. You are now at. Six hearts. Uh, I'll do a sleep spell. Run, run. Yeah, oh. You miss me, and it's now my turn. Oh, this is fun. Ten. Okay, miss me. No, it's here. Uh, wait, what? That was yours. Yeah, it misses. I uh, misses. I oh, send a fireball. Oh, oh. Miss. Okay. Um. Uh, fire breath. Since I'm a dragon. Right. Yeah, fire breath. Fire breath. Not dead. Hits me. I am at one heart now. Woo! Guess what I'm gonna do, Mister G? Return me back. No. Nope. Roll to see what happens. Six. Six. I will now return you back. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're at one heart. Ramen. Six hearts. Six. You may now attack, or else I might take you over again. <laughs> now, what do you want to do? A wrap her up with vines. Roll to see. Rolling, rolling. One. <laughs> While you're wrapping, trying to wrap ramen. The dragon. Sends a small oh. fireball. You're at half a heart. You are... Weak. Blood is pouring out from you, and you're completely bruised. And you notice that Ramen's body is kind of just Peter Griffin style laying on the floor next to you. <laughs> you're going to use me as a shield again? <laughs> I also take control. Uh -oh. What? Rolling to see. No! I launch at you. Three. Three. Uh -huh, Aha, you missed. You. Yeah, it's your right. Ramen's turn. Uh, uh, mm, vine. Something. What are you going to find? Mr. G Why? or the thing that's attacking him? Both. The thing that's attacking him. You launch at it and you hurt yourself. Oh. You are connected to it. You take a heart. You're not five hearts. Oh, no. Mr. G, you're at half a heart. And this shadow oh. creature has infinite. Oh, so, man. yeah, go. Please don't hurt me. So you can either choose to save Mr. G, I but won't. also save, like, hurting yourself, or Mr. G can uh, go go to sleep for a long time. <laughs> I, I forget attack, what the word... Can I attack the shadow guy? Yes. All right. Let's see. Slicing him. That'll hurt me. Rolling, rolling 20. That'll hurt me! You do two slices and dices. That'll hurt me! You're at two hearts now, Ramen. No! I am the shadow, so it is now my turn. Roll it to see. No! Roll a six. I launch at you, and you're fine so far. Uh, uh. Mm. You're at two hearts. You could always kill Ramen. Uh, shadow. 
uh, yeah. shadow and uh, mm. fire. Fireball. Now I'm gonna use my claws and slice, slice and dice and so. Oh, yeah, you completely miss. I'm a little clumsy. Okay, come on, Mr. G. Come on, Mr. G. It's a big finale. Big finale, Pete. Gonna feed the shadow guy to the dragon. (laughs) What? What? I was about to say you were unable to do that. You can use those 17. points. Use those points to something else. Seven. No. I no, would no, like no, to no, speak no. to your manager. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Well, you can attack the shadow with 17. Feed the or shadow. You can mm. No, feed the shadow to can the I dragon. Can I use a heal spell? Yes, you can use a heal spell. Yeah, you but heal you back to full five hearts. I, it's my turn. I'm the shadow. I attack. <laughs> Seven, I miss you. Uh. Yeah. Fireball, to, Fireball. The, to the uh, shadow. shadow. Rolling, rolling. Three. Oh, come on. Shadow completely dodges it. Now it's your turn, Mr. G. I spell to the shadow. You what? I, I spell, spell to the shadow. Oh. oh. Sh- shadow completely dodges it. Rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Eight. Eight. Uh, I use it. Well, I use a fireball, too. Mr. G, obviously, he is. Uh, obviously. Uh, shadow guy, uh, ice ball, or Dude. ice cube, whatever it is. Five. Oh, Miss. why? Why I is dodged. this happening? Oh. 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 Why does this keep happening? Oh. Okay. All right, I am going to try to wrap up the spider guy, the shadow guy. <laughs> Two. Ah. I dodge. Well, it's now my turn. Oh, I did not mean to do it. Okay, let's see. Five, obviously, to attack. Oh, no, um, We're all rolling so low. I know. I'm going to use vine. Vine? Vine. Thirteen. Okay. You reach at your vine at the shadow and squeeze it. You lose, You take your heart. That's fine. As long as it's You're the shadow. You're at one heart now, and Mr. G is currently at five. Cur- he's at five. I thought he was at one. He healed himself with oh, the 17. True. True. All right. It's time for me to slay the dragon. Which is also Roman. Which is saying. also Roman. Now, <laughs> six, I'm the shadow. How dare Mom. you? 17, I slash at you. And then you are now going to be at, for dramatic effect, one heart. <laughs> and then the shadow. Roman, I'm going to let you roll to see what happens. Oh, okay. Rolling, rolling. rolling. The shadow stabs itself. Roman. You fall to the ground, and you now have gained control over your body again. Oh, yeah, I'm still alive. And you have now been eliminated. What? <laughs> Permanently. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. G, you stand there. What? Over Roman's corpse. <laughs> what? You go back to the village. See that the fire is now out. I see the firemen's being relieved that the fire's out. But they, when they only see you come back, the fireman gives you a pat on the back. And after a year later, after the dragon attacked, you are now living a happy life in the town that you have saved. What? And that is where we're going to okay end so i'm the one who story. gets eliminated oh my goodness so yeah that's where we're gonna end the story oh. thank you all for listening in to all these episodes and these crazy people be doing crazy things it was all mr g he eliminated me this is amazing for me at least because i get to finally end the story um, yeah, after like nine parts. Yeah, thank you all for being here, and we might thank do you. another one if we convince Mr. If G. Mr. G convinces us to, we or not convinces see. us, thank we convince him. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you all for listening. Bye bye. bye.